For someone who has high standards, this can be a never-ending loop of I want to do more, I want to do better. You get the point. walking into class right now i'm gonna get coffee before my first class i have a video shoot today for my club and i'm wearing the cutest shoes today because it's on theme for the color of my club so i got the protein latte for the first time and i'm a little scared to try it cheers Okay, the coffee, I would not have again. Um, it doesn't taste very much like coffee, to be honest. But I do also have a bunch of emails and stuff to do for grad school because applications are due starting in a week, which means it's busy, busy time. Uh, if you're applying, you know, always think that you could be doing more. So it's stressful regardless. I got to my building early and I just realized I have a reimbursement I have to pick up from when I paid for stuff in the hackathon I hosted last year. I finally got the check, so that's like a thousand dollars I'm getting back today. I'm going to my quiz right now. Just wrapped up the interview. It was amazing. I'll talk about it after, but I'm late for my quiz.
Okay, this is such a good day today. I'm going to my friend's soccer game right now and I'm very excited because it's finals and they better represent engineering and win for us. Good morning everyone. I am packing my bag to go to my research lab and I will be working on my thesis project there today. Over here. But you can't really see much from here. I'm standing too close to the building. <laughs> There's a nice cafe when we go in. Um, but I haven't gotten any drinks from there yet. There's an amazing coffee machine that we're going to right now. productive right now. I'm almost finished my Oxford um, research proposal, which is extremely exciting to me because US PhD programs, they don't ask for a research proposal, just kind of more of like history and motivations. Um, but Oxford asked very specifically for what you think you might want to do research-wise. So I've been just like reading a lot of literature about the current research and I feel pretty fired up and I'm listening to really good music. I've been obsessed with Oklu Aklu. do not know how to say her name but so many of her songs are amazing okay back to work i'm going home now it is nice and misty and dark and beautiful Hi everyone, sorry so shaky. Someone messaged me on LinkedIn and invited me to this private dinner with a venture capital. I'm curious to see what it is, so I'm heading there right now. I was actually working from the law building today because I was meeting with a professor there and we were talking about an initiative that we wanna do together and I'm very excited to share what that is and what we have going on. But yeah, sorry it's been so long since I filmed. It's been so crazy, applying to grad schools, running my club, I recently submitted a paper to a ML conference that we pushed for and finished in the first two months of working in that lab. Um, oh my god, there's so many people out, but look at how beautiful the city is. I talked about this before, but every time I walk downtown I feel extra inspired. I'm always in school, so seeing kind of what's out there after school is amazing and yeah so i don't know this dinner i think it's really small they only invited i think 10 or 15 people um and i'm excited to talk to people and see what their lives are about what they're up to
Wait, I just realized I walked two blocks too far and um, now I have to walk back five more minutes. Oh, also speaking of which, I got my nails done. Wait, let me show you. I am at a coffee shop right now. I have a meeting with an investor in three minutes. She is super chill and nice, and I met her at that dinner that I went to. We are discussing partnerships and sponsorship opportunities. I'm almost done my coffee. I'm almost also done my assignment. I just need to format. It's due at 9 p.m. and I am pretty much done now. It's around 7. It's not 7 yet. Um, but I started this at 2 p.m. I think. Okay, I need to format this 12 page document and submit it and then get on with my life. Good morning everyone. There's not too, too much going on today. I slept early last night. Early being 1 a.m. but my typical has been like 3 a.m. so 1 a.m. was good. So I'm about 30 minutes early before my class. The primary mission right now is to get coffee. Cases doesn't have words in it. Now as a function of the, of the rules in the grammar, in fact, most words are in lexical. That's the root now. T must be circumscribed. Just do type raising any time you Although you have an entity associated with an NP, Anything that's associated with an S will be something, of probably a complex predicate. Hi everyone. So for the project, we'll start off with the user sign-up form. This is how users are initially format hybrid virtual, what they would prefer, the language, and the career stage. And then we get to the actual event newsletter. It's structured this into three formats. Attention span of, and this we have an interactive uh, feedback. This is where the recommendation feature comes in. My favorite, <laughs> uh, we have an orange and a purple. So orange is actually... Thank you. I finished all my classes for today. I'm now headed back to my research lab, my favorite place in the whole world. That sounds sarcastic. I actually really, really enjoy being there. We're back. Got myself a meeting room. I am going to prep for half an hour more. Research is very fun, but it can also be very ambiguous at times. The standard that you uphold for yourself will be reflected in the research that you do. So for someone who has high standards, this can be a never-ending loop of I want to do more, I want to do better, I want to be more theoretical, I want to be more novel. You get the point. The best that you could do is do your best at every given moment and then you'll have no regrets because you'll know that past you couldn't have done anything differently with the information and the abilities that they had at the time. Also, there's no way I'm the only person who feels this, but I still get nervous before my meetings. Like, I get a little nervous, especially if it's um, online. I don't like the feeling of like, oh, let me join the room now. But no, I'm just being sensitive. Let me go and prep. I have another call, it'll be quick.
I just got off call with my mentor and we said goodbye, but we said we'd stay in touch. I've actually had a couple of mentors throughout university and they've all been so nice. And it's always really sad when like you kind of know that it's the end of your correspondence. Both of you will grow over time, um, especially the mentee will grow a lot from when you first started talking to your mentor versus when you're nearing like the end. And that's nothing wrong. Like there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I think both of you will see when the time should end. And it's always a little bit like bittersweet. When you look back on the calls that you had. And I really, really appreciate every single mentor that I've had in my life. I remember people used to say, when I was younger, people used to say like, mentors are very important but i was like how do you even find a mentor like what does that even mean what do, what do mentors do um do you just like talk because I, I read uh tuesdays with maury the book and i was like damn i want that i come with questions i think that the mentee the person getting mentored should be the more curious one because the mentor is there for you but you're the one who should be driving it because if you're not curious about anything if you don't have any questions that's just not the dynamic that we should be going for even if you like stop having set times to talk and be mentored as a mentor they'll always appreciate you keeping them updated in your life and thinking of them very rewarding quite a few of you actually dm'd me about questions you had about my research and how my internship was and like the process of getting the microsoft internship i really enjoy like responding and talking to you guys so if you ever have any questions i'm almost there at the end of my undergrad journey i'm almost halfway there actually i have finals coming up i'll film that journey so you guys can also see me in the process i like watching people not just talk about their experiences in retrospect, but I like it when people share their confusion along the way. Everyone's human, everyone has to go through it. So that's what I'm trying to do. I will try to record and be more consistent, um, even when things get busy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will talk to you in the next one. I have lots of exciting things coming up. I'm going to be filming a Shanghai vlog grad school process. If you guys have any questions, comment them below. I hope you had a good day today. You'll have a good day tomorrow and that every day is a good day. Okay, see you guys in my next video. Good luck and enjoy life.